For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Outdoors Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm going to do a bit of sort of pitching video slash sort of talking through video about a sun canopy you can buy for the Screenhouse Pro Range. So the Screenhouse Pro Range has an optional sort of canopy you can go on the front of it to give you a bit more shelter. Um, and it's quite simple, very easy to pitch as I'm about to show you now. So what I'm going to do is sort of unravel the canopy itself. Now you've got obviously the material parts and then also kind of the pole part as well. So we'll put that to a side for one minute. Now the Pro is quite unique that you've got all these lovely little extras you can add two on from it. And um, the first thing I'm going to probably do is sort of work out which side is which. So top versus bottom. The zip tends to be actually on the uh, shelter itself. So all I'm going to do is firstly align those zips up together. No difference to sort of your jacket that you get uh, at home. So once that's in, that can then feed on like so. You want to kind of support it as you pull the material together. The corners are a bit trickier. So once it's kind of on, take it all to the bottom, and we've got it all nicely attached. Now, what I'm going to then do is get your sort of pole. Well, so it could be a more simpler concept, but it's always nice to see it in the flesh. Get your pole, as you see there. Open that up, and you've got a sleeve on the underside of the actual canopy sleeve itself. So when it's actually pitched, it looks a lot smarter, which is quite nice. So we're just going to locate that sleeve. There it is. Feed that through. On a lower level, it's a bit easier because you've got less strain on the fabric itself. Just keep the poles feeding through quite nicely. If you've got a second pair of hands to help you feed, it does make life a lot easier sometimes. So once we're sort of basically through, what I'm going to do is just kind of gather it up a little bit. Now, once I've got the pole out the end, all there is quite simply is a ring and pin scenario. So just that you pop that ring, that sort of, sort of upright in the base of the pin. And then from that point there, you can carry on feeding. Now what I almost do is try, try and flex the pole as I do it. So if I sort of anchor it like so, it makes life an awful lot easier when feeding the rest of the the pole on. If you are really struggling with this, what you can also do as well, which to be fair, I probably will do now, is you can unclip the base strap. It then means you can easily have plenty of room to get that pole directly on and then reconnect it at the base. Just helps take the strain off the scenario. Once we're in this position here, we'll get sort of a couple of pegs, peg the canopy out directly. It's all about getting the roof looking taut and we can get the base to follow. So you can almost walk that out a little bit. And then we'll just get that sort of pegged out just to hold it in place. We can tweak it as we go along, you know. The pole itself, you want to almost have it as a sort of a dead vertical point. Just makes it life a lot easier, more robust. And where you, in terms of position, you also want to kind of replicate where it is on there. So bring it a bit. So it comes almost on the fore, at least comes directly out. But as you can see, it offers a good amount of sort of space. You've got really nice strong webbing straps to match the uh, webbing straps you get with the uh, awning itself. And again, you can kind of peg through the base there. Yeah, simple, easy, efficient, gives you great coverage. You've now got a sort of sheltered area, kind of as you come out in the awning, against the wind, against the rain. Um, but it also comes to extends the, it as well. So if you're on a campsite, you can have, you know, a bit more shelter, a bit more sheltered space away from the sun. Um, and that kind of additional baffle system works really well, just to give that sort of more seamless feel from onto the part of it. But more, and more information about the actual canopy itself, you can check the link below uh, our video, take you straight through our website, where we've got things like the canopy depth, the pack sizes, uh, and all the spec to go with it, as along with the other videos we have on the Screenhouse Pro version. But for now, thank you again for watching. If you need more information, feel free just to contact us directly, uh, and we can obviously help you as and when you need to. But 
that's kind of a little pitching slash sort of tutorial video on the Pro Canopy for the Screenhouse.